had a lot of discussions uh, during this time and, and each, co each coach uh, had his uh, time uh, sort of alone and time we had to look at his aspects of, of the game, where, where is it going and um, uh, you know, we had some great great conversations about that and, and great ideas and also maybe some input from from other coaches. So Rita would uh, would come to me and say, uh, Dolby, have you looked at uh, certain aspects of attack, you know, where um, yeah, he might have seen something different or, or picked up something. Uh, so I think the information sharing amongst us, you know, every article we got, every sort of podcast that, that we found interesting, we, we shared that information. And yeah, we all sort of come up with a product, product that uh, yeah, we're busy implementing with the players and, and, and slowly getting, getting uh, ready to, to start doing it the moment we can get onto the field. changes is uh, trying to improve the speed of the game so obviously the game will get a bit faster but uh, more ball in play um, uh, and by saying that the game will change but the basics will always stay the same you want to see as much action as possible yeah so I think that that's where the uh, rugby is evolving towards is to try and give more more action and action moments for, for, for whoever's watching the game. Finds Roberts, Roberts to find Augustus inside ball for Sergio Peterson and Dream Stone. Province has always been renowned for uh, playing with flair, uh, you know, getting the ball to the wings, uh, getting guys guys into space, you know, exciting players. Um, yeah, so that's that's what we stand for. That's what the, our fans want want to see and like to see, and, and that's what we want to try and get right. We'll obviously have to adapt to the speed of the game at the moment because um, uh, uh, because of the law changes, and then yeah, you know, obviously try and get our players used to that speed. Um, and because things are happening a bit faster, you, know, you need to look at your skill level. Um, you, know, you have to react under pressure, make sure you can make good decisions under pressure, um, and and obviously have to be very fit you know, to play play that style of game. I think the guys are, are so hungry to play, um, uh, they, they want to get onto the field and they want to play. Um, it's, it's quite tough watching New Zealand and Australia and players, the guys that we compete against uh, in Super Rugby, uh, they're already on the field and they've got an opportunity to do, to do what they love and what they're good at. Um, so from our side, the players will be excited and make sure that we you know, keep growing as a team and keep playing better. This is uh, the COVID testing. Uh, we're doing PCR testing, which is uh, a government requirement for return to train. So we have to have uh, a COVID-free squad when we start group training. Uh, and the idea behind it is to make sure at least we start with a healthy, fit um, and screened squad uh, that we know nobody has current COVID infection. Very fortunate to have Gift of the Givers. Uh, they've stepped in to provide us with this unbelievably slick uh, and, and professional experience. So um, they've been absolutely fantastic, and they've been doing all the squads around the country. Uh, but it's it's annoying. It gets in your nose, and a lot of people cry. I think I'll cry too. Yeah, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's good to know your status, so you can keep yourself safe and the people around you safe. 
and hopefully we are all clean so we can you know hopefully the government allows us to go back to training even if it's small groups we're really looking forward to it you know i think it will also add to the country's morale for us to be back on the field and playing so people can see us play